You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for another news update. Food and beverage changes are coming across Merlin theme parks as Merlin Entertainment outsourced their food and beverage to an external company. In this video, I'm going to start off by talking about the company that's taken over and of course what this means for the in-park dining experience as we move forward into 2022 at the Merlin theme parks. So yes, this has come as quite a surprise, much like yesterday's news that we talked about with Cadbury World being taken over by Merlin. And uh, yeah, again, this is a big surprise. This came out just a few days ago and wanted to film a video talking about it because food and beverage is a huge part of the theme park experience for many people. When you go into a theme park, you're more than likely going to be buying at least something there, uh, whether it's a full main meal or just a drink. So yes, this could really affect the theme park experience. Uh, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but that's what I'm going to try and work out really throughout this video based on my research. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it then. So the company that Miller Entertainments have brought in are called Aramark. They're an American company and uh, yeah, they already provide services to a lot of education settings, healthcare, prisons, and also leisure attractions as well. Uh, I'd not actually heard of them prior to this announcement a few days ago, hence why I've done quite a bit of research. Um, but yeah, from looking at reviews from the company, they've got a pretty mixed bag of reviews um, to put it out there. Some people saying the great, some people saying the poor. So yeah, let's uh, kind of see how it goes when it's rolled out. But it does say on their website they've done leisure attractions. I'm not too sure which ones. I did try and find out, but uh, yeah, can't be as big as this deal for Merlin because yeah, you've got to think, you know, Merlin, it's a huge company. It's the second biggest theme park and attraction operator anywhere in the world, second behind Disney. So yeah, you've got to think, um, this is a big deal for Aramark. But yeah, American company and uh, yeah, they're going to be taking over the operations at seven Merlin uh, theme parks, if you like, because one of them is Warwick Castle, which I wouldn't class a theme park, but Merlin do put it in that category. So yeah, we've got Alton Towers, uh, Thorpe Park, Chessington World of Adventures, Legoland Windsor and Warwick Castle. Uh, all of them, of course, here in the UK and abroad. Uh, they're going to be taking over the food at uh, Legoland, California and also Legoland, Florida, both of which, of course, in the USA. So yeah, it's starting off with just the seven. However, if this goes well um, for both Aramark and Merlin, then yeah, we could maybe see this expand because you've got to think Merlin have got a lot of other Legoland parks. They've got Gardland in Italy. Uh, they've got Hyder Park in Germany. This could easily roll out across all Merlin uh, theme parks and the Midway attractions, Sea Life Centers, that sort of thing. Um, in the future. But yeah, it's just the, the five um, British attractions first and the, and, and the two in the USA with this. So um yeah, after looking into them a bit more, um, like I say, they are already kind of out there in various different settings, but it'll be interesting to see how this is adapted into these individual theme parks. Now, in terms of, let's take Alton Towers, for example. It's my local park. It's the biggest theme park in the UK. Let's go back to when they used to have a lot of big brands at Alton Towers. They used to have Pizza Hut. They used to have KFC, um, McDonald's. And then, of course, we saw Burger King come in and replace um, McDonald's. And then, uh, yeah, now we've got none of them. So, um, obviously, Merlin tried to do a lot of the food themselves. Go back 10 years, they were really trying to do a lot of stuff internal. That's why we saw places like the Burger Kitchen, um, Pizza and Pasta Buffet. They wanted to do it themselves because it could save money and of course they could make more money. Food and beverage is the second biggest kind of expense. You know, you pay to go into a theme park, then you've got the food and beverage costs. So um, yeah, this is a, a big deal. But uh, yeah, you've got to think as well. Hopefully it's not going to change the prices for the worse because that's my only concern now with this. Um, because food and beverage at the Merlin Parks I'd say it's pretty reasonably priced, maybe a little bit expensive for some items. I'm just hoping now that Aramark are coming in, they're not going to have to take an extra cut, if you like, meaning that all the prices are going to increase, you know. So let's just kind of see what happens with that one. Now, in terms of when this is going to be coming in, March 2022 um, here in the UK and March 2023 in the US. So yeah, this is going to be in place for the start of the season. Um, so yeah, obviously Merlin, you know, have made this change. Why have they done it firstly? It's obviously a cost saving measure. You've got to think it costs a lot of money to kind of store food as well. So maybe it's got something to do with that um, storage. Maybe there's been a lot of waste with food because of the pandemic. With them bringing in Aramark, they're going to provide the staffing, the operations and the food itself. So um, yeah, it means that if there's any waste, Merlin aren't really having to pay for it. That's kind of how I'm looking at this. Um, but yeah, they have said in a statement that food and beverage programs that offer family and guest favorites are going to be sticking about. They're going to be trying fresh concepts, 
fun themes and engaging events. And the most important thing, especially for Merlin Annual Pass holders, is the fact you will still get 20% discount. That has now been confirmed by Merlin Annual Pass. You will still get your 20% off, which uh, when this was first announced a few days ago was quite a big concern that does that mean the end of the discount? But that's a big perk of the Merlin Pass and Merlin know that. So obviously the, the deals out there, the contract will state to Aramark, you've got to give the discounts, you know. And I expect that's the same for employee discount as well. Um, but yeah, the actual employees are actually going to work for Aramark. Um, like your food and beverage staff at Alton Towers will no longer work for Alton Towers. Of course, I'm mentioning Alton Towers because it's the, the biggest park in my local. But um, this is for uh, applies for all of those. Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington, Legoland, Warwick Castle. And of course, the two Legoland parks that we know of in the States, um, California and Florida. So yeah, this is a big change. You know, I'm really hoping this is a positive move. Uh, however, you know, if this doesn't go to plan you've got a thing have Aramark ran big restaurants this isn't just in theme park this is like hotel restaurants and at Alton Towers you've got things like roller coaster restaurants secret garden flambos there's a lot so you know are Aramark going to be able to cope with it I know they're a big company but do they realize the scale of, of this and some of the restaurants especially throughout the hotels this isn't just in theme park so I really hope the quality isn't reduced. Um, food and beverage offerings have been pretty poor across the Merlin parks in recent years. Personally, I preferred it when we had the brands. Um, I thought the price was better and there was more variety. Um, but could we maybe see that? I mean, could Aramark maybe be taking over the smaller kind of outlets? And then in the future, maybe we could see the return of the likes of McDonald's, Burger King, KFC into the parks. You know, I've always said places like a, a subway would be would be great in the parks in the UK. Um, so yeah, you know, there's, there's options out there, but um, this is where we're at at the moment. Aramark taking over. The biggest changes we know, of course, are that the Alton Tower, they're not going to be Alton Towers employees. They're not going to be Merlin employees that work in these um, food and beverage outlets anymore. Could that cause issues with complaints when people make complaints at guest services? It's now got to go through to another company. We don't know, but you've got to think uh, photography that's run by another company. So is the um, games they're run by HB Leisure. So yeah, it's not the first time they've outsourced things and that seems to go quite well. However, I do know at Alton Towers, uh, they actually outsourced the housekeeping in the hotels a few years ago. And within a few months, that was reverted because it wasn't going well. So if this doesn't go well, maybe it could be reverted, but it could be great news too. It's early days. Of course, we'll be covering all this in the vlogs. And when the park reopens next month, we'll be down to them all and we'll be seeing have prices increased have menus changed let's see what happens with this one but uh yeah aramark american company taking over food and beverage um across the merlin theme parks could be good could be bad but at least we're still getting our discount and i'm really hoping for more variety that's what we need more um, vegan options that sort of thing um in the parks it's what's needed now just to bring it into line with other theme parks and attractions abroad so there we go thanks for watching theme park worldwide and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out out there and keep on riding. Shouldn't it be keep on eating? <laughs> See you in the next video.